so this is the material i'm using to cut the blouse but i want this one video i'm putting to be visible so i'm going to turn the lining so i can draft my pattern on the lining and the reason why i'm putting this i've already put um princess that um video on this channel before but i think i want to initiate a little slight idea another different way that you can use to gain a princess that so that's why i decide to put up this video today now you have the main material and this is the landing so i folded everything into two so right now we're going to start with the lecture so first of all you see the measurement on the screen all right that's um a big measurement and first of all i'm going to mark the shoulder all right at 16 you mark the shoulder at 16. so the next thing you do after marking the shoulder you have a little allowance here all right the half cut is 14 and a half so always if the half cut is 14 and a half you have to bring it to 13 and a half you have to reduce one inches okay so if you go through my other princess that is um video it's like that also so you reduce one inches and then the nipple all right you're going to make the nipple now at 10 okay maybe it's 11 and a half but because you have reduced this one you also have to reduce that one a little bit so you put it at 10 and this is like the breast level the slantness okay so now if you want to cut the middle part of this princess that's now what you're just going to do is use this nipple line you mark the wideness of the breast that okay i'm putting it at nine you mark it okay you have marked that nine here right now then the little idea is you mark the same nine here down here but make sure you start from the nipple then you mark nine here also and you mark nine here all right so now you place a straight ruler on those lines and draw another straight line downward okay so whatever your half cut is whatever the half cut is you see the half cut over there is 18 okay since it's 18 you're going to add like half inches to it all right you add half inches to it why because the middle is always one inch longer than the side of the breast cut so now we're going to assume this is the home you do right now if you want to get the perfect shape for this princess cut in another different idea you're going to curve a little line here a little bit okay you're going to extend this one out the wideness between here now is not more than one inches you see that this whole thing is a basics it's not more than one inches you can see all right so you're going to extend this one out a little bit so from this nipple here you can curve a line coming up since this is a lecture let me stop here all right then take another one from this point where this chalk stop coming down to this place if you see now the way the draft is now the middle is set okay the middle is set so now you have to find a way to get the side when you want to get the side from here to here determines how busted your breast that is going to be when you finish so for someone that is on a large side like the measurement on the on this um video right now so you're going to mark two inches okay you're going to mark two inches and then you bring the two inches up and connect it with the nipple here okay now we're done with the middle and we're cutting the side right now so the same two inches you have here you can come here also and make it two inches even if it's not going to be up to two inches but more than half then you mark here why because this space between here and here almost have to be the same that would determine how balanced the breast that is going to be when you finish sewing so from here you bring it down to this point 
when you reach here this is when you start to determine how to curve the place okay when you curve this place well it will not expose the person burst even if the neck is round and the person is bending down it will not expose the breast so you curve this place bring it back to the nipple here you see what's happening right now okay now you're beginning to get the side of this thing then from here you extend it down okay this is half length okay here is going to be one inch longer than the side so from here you take it and also you can define this place by just not that you are really marking the armpit right now but just to define the place so you can cut all right so now we begin our cutting process by bringing out this whole shape this is it and this place you have to use your scissors to notch here a little bit so that when you're sewing it will not be stressful for you to run your machine through this place all right so now we're done with this you want to determine the measurement of the burst and the under bust right now you're going to shift this one close okay just a little bit close you see the space here a little bit lapping this place and also the same thing here the reason why this thing is lapping very well like this and you can see this whole place is straight all right the whole chuck are straight here they are all still matching each other and the one inch space we're talking about is still right here all right so now the reason why this place is lapping so well and the same thing is lapping here is because the measurement you use between these two places there that time you still use it here when you're trying to determine the um how busty is going to be so now in order for you to um, determine the bust measurement you have to bring this thing close like this okay why because this puff side of the breast that is not is all part of your measurement so you have to hide it while trying to mark the main bust so the bust there is 46 okay so right here i will just put it at 45 later on i can you know make my measurement complete on the allowance so that's how we go it's just as simple as this very simple keep watching the video and keep trying yours this way all right so now i mark the bust measurement bust measurement have to be on the nipple it's not on the armpit all right it has to be on the nipple and beside the armpit is just one inches below the armpit of every human so now you come down to the under bust you can see right here the under bust is 40 and you mark and you take it down all right if you want to slant your hand out you're free to do that if you still want to make it straight you're free okay the under bust here and this place are almost sharing the same measurement except the person wants you to really you know chop it in you can do that so all you just need now is add the allowance and cut this place out and the whole front is ready so now here you go it's as simple as this all right if you want to cut the the, the the back of the blouse right now assuming you don't want to cut the back of the blouse the same princess cut shape you just want to cut it one way this is still how you're going to leave this one on top of the material okay you're going to put this one on top of the material same like that and you you cut it exactly the way it's supposed to be okay as you place it on top of the material okay let me demonstrate that right you see it right now okay we're going to call this place the zip allowance all right we're going to call this place the zip allowance i don't want the video to consume too much of our time so I, i'm just demonstrating it i won't really cut all right you place these two together the way it's supposed to be you can see it right now it's on top of each other so you're going to cut the back like this following all this shape here except that it has a zip allowance 
Okay, so now it's time for us to cut the lower part of the blouse. And also, the lower part of the blouse is 90 degree flay. Okay, that is half of a full flay. All right, so all you just need to do is put up a straight material like this. All right, and as you put the material straight, you just bend this one like you're cutting a funnel. Right, this is how it is. If you look at the half cut of the blouse right now, the half cut did not extend down so much. Okay, it's just like immediately under the breast length. So the 18 and a half inches we use on the first uh, video is not going to be that 18 and a half. So since our breast length is 14 and a half, I think we're going to use 15. We're going to get our flay starting from 15. So right now, it's very simple. The blouse length is going to be 25. That's the full blouse length is going to be 25. And right here, I have 25 here. Okay, I have 25 here right now. So from that 25, we want the half length to be 15. So you mark 15 right here. Okay, if you mark the 15, then from this angle here, this cone shape here, you put your tape. Now the 15 give you 12. Okay, from that 12, you need to use the tape rule as a compass to navigate. You mark the same 12 here. Then hold this place again and shift the tape and you mark the same 12 okay so you can use the 12 to get the round figure okay so right now you have it then you just cut this place out place out now and you know the under bust the under bust then is 40 right so now we're going to measure this place and right here you get 10 okay 10 times 4 right now this is one two then three and four this is 40 inches all together right now so in order to get the um the 90 degree flay that you want you mark here again right here now you get 11 all right so from that 11 you mark 11 here and also you mark 11 here and 11 there the same way you get this place that's how you use the tape to get this place from also and this is it all right then this is the kind of flay you have on it after this flay there is there is an attachment by the side that is extending down okay this is how the flay is around the blouse all right, then we now have a, an attachment by the side. The attachment is just a straight cut. All right, you, you, you can see the picture right now on the screen. That is just a straight cut that comes from the back and wrap the front, okay? So this whole thing is very simple. If you, if you know how to stick to basics, you can see the princess that we cut then. This is the middle and these are the sides, all right? this whole thing are just very simple if you know how to stick to the basics of this thing there are different formula to cut all these things all right you need to start creating your own try your best and i know you can do it thank you very much